Welcome everyone back to another Clash of Clans video on the channel guys. Today is an exciting one and I expect it to be a lot shorter than my recent videos. I don't expect this video to be any more than 5 or 6 minutes long at most. I just wanted to talk to you guys about the most used attack strategy I've noticed for Town Hall 11 and up. Now this is not going to go into the higher leagues, this is not going into Titan League, this is something I've noticed a lot of in the Gold League as well as the Crystal Leagues. This is something that I've just heavily noticed, especially on my own defenses of my base. The Electro Dragons are a very, very popular troop due to their damage, due to their health, and due to the fact that their damage is actually able to jump from building to building within a close vicinity. So this is a really, really cool troop when you think about it compared to a regular dragon. The regular dragon does quite a bit of damage and is able to attack decently quickly. However, he is not able to attack multiple buildings at once. Now when you look at the Electro Dragon, he is nothing like this. He's going to be shooting a lot slower, dealing a heavy amount of damage, and at the same time, his lightning bolts are going to actually jump between 3, 4, or even 5 targets, but I believe that 4 or 5 targets is the max. Now on my base, when I'm attacked by Electro Dragons, they're able to do quite a bit of damage, as you can see just how close all of my defenses and basically everything on my map is. You guys can see why the Electro Dragons would do so well against me. Now I have level 2 Electro Dragons and they do 270 damage per second and when destroyed they actually do basically drop a lightning spell doing damage to nearby buildings like a normal lightning spell would. They do 450 damage when destroyed and have 3700 hit points. Now yes guys they are very expensive and they take a very very, very long time to train, but for people who are really, really into using them, they're going to use those Electro Dragons and they're willing to wait the two hours of training time basically when necessary. So I'm going to compare them to a regular dragon. We're going to see that the hit points are not all that different, however my dragon is pretty high level. My dragon is a level 6 doing the same amount of damage per second to a single building or unit. That's 270 damage per second, 300 less hit points. As well, the training time is cut in half and the training cost is 12,000 elixir less. Now although we don't have electro dragons actually trained at the moment, I do have baby dragons and we're gonna hop right into a match just for fun because I like to attack in every single video along with the topic of the video. So guys, I'll see you when I'm in a match. Would you look at that loot? Basically one and a half million gold and elixir combined, a pretty solid amount of dark elixir as well. We're going to really try and use these baby dragons to our advantage here, so we see that all these storages are going to be a little bit inside the base, but not too far, so we're actually just going to throw down some of our baby dragons, take out some of those outer defenses, we're then going to also pop in a rage spell, a rage spell, a heal spell, and a heal spell, we're also going to put a clone spell where needed, we're going to give it a second guys, give it a second, oh come on, you can do it, you can do it. I'm going to put a, uh, a clone spell right down here at the bottom actually. We're trying to get into that inner loot, but they're not doing too well at actually getting in. We are going to hit the 50% I see. There we go guys, 50% easy peasy lemon squeezy. But we do need to get a little bit more loot if this is going to actually be a viable attack. So I do see my Barbarian King was being attacked, but now we can rage him up, use his ability, get rid of this Inferno Tower hopefully. There we go guys, Inferno Tower down, I see a baby dragon up here attacking that gold storage, I see they're all about to take out the town hall, easy peasy guys, this is a pretty easy base to at least get a one star on. The baby dragon still did quite a number on these troops and on this base, they didn't do amazing, I think the electro dragons actually would have done better, the problem being that the baby dragons did not move in quick enough. They weren't able to take out all the outer defenses and all the outer storages and, uh, well, uh, collectors actually. Luckily that attack was able to get us a star bonus and guys what we're going to actually do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to train one more baby dragon for the current loadout and we're going to do exactly this with the electro dragons. We're going to train eight electro dragons, follow it up with two baby dragons 
And guys, that's going to be for the next video. But as always, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like down below. I know today's video was very, very chaotic. If you guys did enjoy it though, like I said, please be sure to drop a like down below. I do appreciate all the support on my videos and it does help me to get more noticed. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Peace.